If you are considering moving to the Tampa Bay area and have questions about Pasco County, this video is hopefully going to help you make an informed decision about whether Pasco County is right for you. I was just helping somebody last week who is relocating to Tampa Bay and their job is in Tampa and they were wondering, could we possibly live in Pasco County? And I'm going to answer that question as well as why you might want to live in Pasco County. My name is Dennis Poulet, and I'm a realtor here in the Tampa Bay area. And my family moved to Pasco County back in the 1980s, like way back when, early 80s. And they've been here for a very long time. So I am very well acquainted with the county. And I wanted to take you just kind of through some of the ideas of what Pasco County is, and what it has to offer for people who maybe need to make a commute into Tampa and whether that is a smart thing to do or not. So we're going to go to the map and we're going to basically just kind of lay it all out there and talk to you about what Pasco County is all about. So let's get to the map and let's talk about the differences in the counties in Tampa Bay. So here we go. We're going to be in this map right here, which is the Tampa Bay area. I always consider Tampa Bay to be uh, three counties and it is for me it is uh, Pinellas County which is right over here it is Hillsborough County which kind of goes like that and I kind of ran into Pasco County there and then Pasco County which kind of goes uh, up here like this and so as you kind of look at the map you can see that there are those three counties now you could uh, argue that the further south you go, you could include some of these places in the Tampa Bay area as well. Some people want to include Sarasota and Bradenton. I get that. When you start thinking about the Tampa Bay area and you start thinking about the counties, you think about population. Now, in the Hillsborough County area, we've got 1.5 million people. Uh, in the Pinellas County area, as of the latest census, you've got about 956,000 uh, people in that area, okay? And then when you go to Pasco County, you go up a little bit further to Pasco. You've got Newport Ritchie and Bennett Point and all of those places. And you've got about 584,000 people in the population. So when you think about where you might want to live, if you want to live where there are tons of people, you want to go towards Hillsborough County. If you want to live on the outskirts of the Tampa Bay area, you might want to think about Pasco County. So as we think about Pasco County, this is what I want to show you. I want to show you a little bit of the map of Pasco County. And so you can get an idea of where it is. Obviously, Pasco County is north of Tampa, but right where it says Odessa on there, Odessa, Land O'Lakes, Wesley Chapel, right there on 54 and 56, those roads are kind of your uh, border of Pasco County. So on the south side, if you're in Odessa or Trinity or Land O'Lakes or Wesley Chapel, you are bordering the southern part and Holiday over there on the west coast bordering the southern part of the county. Now, as you go further east, Zephyr Hills is included in Pasco County. And then you get a lot of green area right here. Dade City is actually the capital of, uh, you know, the, the, the county seat of Pasco. And then if you get up here to Spring Hill, then you've gone too far north. So that's kind of the northern. Obviously on the west, bordered by the Gulf. So Pasco would kind of be something like that. Now, as you look at this map, you can tell that, uh, you know, the big growth areas right now in Pasco County are Wesley Chapel, Land O'Lakes, Odessa, and Trinity isn't on here, but Trinity is right over here. And I'll just make it a T for Trinity. Okay. So you get that. And then you got Zephyr Hills out on the east. You've got Newport Ritchie is the old staple of Pasco County, which also comes with it, Port Ritchie, uh, which is Bayonet Point, Hudson. The further you go north, these are all the areas that you might have heard of. But if you notice, like Pasco County doesn't have a ton of population, so it doesn't have a lot 
of specific cities. As you start zooming in on the map, you can see that there are neighborhoods in these places, like Odessa is getting a few more neighborhoods than what it's had in the past. Traditionally, it was kind of, you know, not so populated, but now it's getting up there. Trinity has become a very populated area, and now, as you can see, there are actual neighborhoods in there. When you start looking at Landa Lakes, and you see all of these little, you know, Paradise Lakes Resort, you see uh, right over here next to uh, Stonegate, Devonwood, etc. Those are the places that you'd see in Landa Lakes. Landa Lakes, by the way, is getting populated. So it's it's they are building a lot of things in Landa Lakes. If you are thinking about living in Pasco County, Landa Lakes might be one of the most up and coming places. But so is Wesley Chapel, which if you're searching online about where to live in Tampa Bay, Wesley Chapel comes up uh, pretty much all the time. Look at all of these uh, little neighborhoods around here. You know, we've got lagoon areas and all kinds of stuff in Wesley Chapel. If you are thinking about the newer areas, I would say these places that are closest to Tampa are the ones that are the up and coming. Why? Because you can get to Tampa fairly quickly, 25, 30 minutes from any one of these places. It's a very quick commute. Now, whenever you cross that line into Hillsborough County, I'm not going to lie, you can tell that you've crossed the line into Hillsborough County because it gets more populated, it gets heavier traffic, etc. So if you're looking for living somewhere a little bit further out, then maybe uh, you want to look at some of these other areas like uh, Zephyr Hills or even San Antonio or even uh, Newport Ritchie, River Ridge. Any of these places could be helpful to you. Now, one of the additional things about Pasco County right now is that this road, 589, and I maybe should have done a different color for that, 589 has been recently opened. It's not recently. It's a toll road, but it will take you directly into Tampa. It will take you all the way down to the airport right here. So if you are thinking about living in Pasco, you need to get really familiar with 589 and be prepared to pay the tolls, which they're not that expensive, but it is a great place. You could take I-75 through, but 75 usually has a lot of traffic. Um, but what I really wanted to do with this video is just kind of tell you that Pasco County is a fairly decent option for you if you need to live in or you need to work in Tampa, especially if it's like northern Tampa, anywhere over here or even over here, you could probably get away with living in Pasco County. Now, you're going to have a commute but it's not going to be the worst commute you've ever uh, had. Now, one of the things that Pasco County has going for it is that it is in the area that I would call, you know, the they're calling it the Adventure Coast, the Nature Coast, any of those things. But you've got Homosassa Springs right up here. You've got uh, Wikiwachi, which is right over here. There are There's Crystal River. There is, there are a lot of springs over here in Citrus Springs. There's a lot of places that you can go and you can do a lot of nature uh, spring things. Like not spring like the, the <laughs> not spring like winter, spring, fall, but like there are actual crystal clear blue waters. If you think George of the Jungle kind of things, but like old Florida springs where you can go and you can kayak, you can paddleboard, you can do all kinds of fun things in these rivers that you can go to. So you could go to Homosassa Springs, go on the river, you can go to the Chassahowitzka, which has um, underwater caves, you can go to Wikiwachi, which has mermaids, they're not real mermaids, but they're uh, pretty close. It's a pretty fun place to go. So Newport Ritchie, Pasco County, all of those places are right up here. And in Hudson, you can get, there's a beach, Hudson Beach. It's a smaller beach. None of these beaches are huge in Pasco County, which I would say is one of the 
things that I don't like about the county is that there aren't a lot of beaches. There's another little beach in Newport Ritchie. There's a place to launch kayaks over here. But if you want to go to the beach, you really need to hit Clearwater Beach or the Pinellas County beaches. Those are the places that if you are a beach bum, you will absolutely love. Now, you could get there from Pasco County, but it's not the easiest commute. It's going to take you probably an hour to get to Clearwater Beach from Pasco, depending on where you're at in Pasco County, but you can get there. Uh, Tarpon Springs is another place. That's about, you know, depending on where you're at in Pasco County, it could be quite the hike. So if you really want to think about why you should live in Pasco County versus Hillsboro or Pinellas. You're talking, uh, there's probably lower taxes in Pasco County. Uh, there are probably fewer people in Pasco County. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your own needs. Now, West Pasco is uh, definitely a little bit older than South Pasco, which I told you, Odessa, Land Lakes, Wesley Chapel, uh, Trinity, and even uh, Zephyr Hills, which is way a little farther east for my liking. But this corridor right here might be something that you would be interested in if you're looking for newer Pasco County with the Pasco County benefits and the Hillsborough County vibe. So those are the things that I wanted to talk to you about. If you have any questions at all about Pasco County or anywhere in the Tampa Bay area and you're thinking, hey, I might be interested in moving to Tampa Bay, I would love to help you. You could give me a call. You could send me a text. You could send me an email. Whatever you like to do, let's set up a call. Let's talk about what your needs are, especially your real estate needs. I would love to help you out. And we can get you into a place in Tampa Bay, just like we have for all of the other clients that we have served. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it's helped you. If it's helpful, drop a comment in the comments below. Let me know that it's helpful. So we will talk to you in the next video.